Hey everybody, how's it going? This is the Bowl Metal Nerd coming at you with another video. It's more basement stuff because why wouldn't it be, right? In this one, basically what I'm doing, uh, like I said at the end of the framing video, it's really a pain in the butt to try to do this type of work with uh, stuff in the basement. So essentially, I thought today would be a good opportunity to uh, clear out my basement. Some I've already began work moving things around. This is definitely not going to be the final configuration. I just wanted to show you guys how much of a mess this is. Uh, this is me, you know, putting stuff where I decide what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> you know, uh, I just wanted to show you guys the mess that this is. This is pre-work. This is just the front of the basement. I'm not sure how long this is going to take me today. Probably a bit, <laughs> considering how much there is to clear out and make nice and neat. So this is the before, at least for the front of the basement. And I will show you guys the after uh, later. And hopefully it's way better. So <laughs> we'll see. See you guys in a bit. Well, folks, here we are. It's about, I don't know, 9 o'clock at night. I worked most of the day. I've only really taken what I consider one break. And that was for 27 odd minutes to watch a bit of TV. Um, now, unfortunately, I'm not done. Uh, this is very slow work. But you can tell um, I did get I did move two pieces of furniture out of this area. And I replaced it with this shelving unit, uh, which is obviously useful for storing a bunch of crap on it. I still got to kind of go through everything and see, uh, you know, what I want to keep, what I don't. But I've made progress in this section. We'll see how everything looks tomorrow when I'm done. See you in tomorrow. Well, folks, I did about two hours of work today. Today's Sunday, and uh, it's significantly improved from, you know, what it was yesterday. I, it, the work today went a lot quicker than before uh, because I didn't have nearly as many things to, like, kind of individually go through and pick through and all that crap. Um, yes, there is still a fair amount of junk, but a lot of this stuff's going to go into some of the rooms, you know, when they're finished. Plus, this will remain storage even after the basement is finished. Um, now, uh... This, uh, the idea of today was not, you know, to purge everything, get everything 100% great. It was just basically to get a quote, good enough for, you know, continuing the work. And I think I, I did accomplish that today, at least with the front part of the basement. Of course, the big challenge is going to be, and I'm gonna show you my shame right here, the back of the basement, right? Uh, there's just, yeah, there's it's tons of crap back here. Obviously, so I'm gonna have to do a similar process. I'm not sure how long it'll take. Uh, in fact, there's so much stuff back there It may end up me having a garage sale in a couple of weeks <laughs> You know just to get rid of some of this stuff um, You know as for the rest of the day today the reason I'm not the only reason I'm not doing the back today is of course what I had to do was get the uh, You know get the stuff out of here out of there, but you see, it created quite a mess in my normal nerd room slash home office. So I'm going to have to kind of go through it today and kind of figure out what's going on. So that's basically it. This was just a quick little, you know, again, an insight to if you are a, quote, typical person, you've owned your house for a while and you're finishing your basement. This is just some of the kind of things that you can, you know, probably run into. So anyway, that's it for now. As always, live long and prosper. Keep on rocking, as you can hear. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon.